Let's talk about 10 tools to create a trading or investing plan. By the way, here is our TradingView profile on TradingView where you can follow us for other tips and tricks. As you can see, we published an idea, 10 tools for creating a trading plan. We open it and on this idea, as you scroll down, you can see the 10 tips that we show you for creating a trading or investing plan. Let's go through each one. The first one is use our free paper trading tools. So when you're on a chart, right? Here's the chart on TradingView. We're looking at Apple. You can paper trade. You can test new ideas, new styles, new concepts. Watch our mouse. We go down here to the bottom where it says trading panel, open trading panel, and we click. Now here is where you can connect and begin your paper trading journey. And you can also connect a real brokerage if you think you're ready to start trading or if you see the brokerage of your choice. So here's paper trading by TradingView. We click connect and then we click connect again. And what you see here now is we are officially connected to our trading, our paper trading account. See here, it says paper trading. We see our positions, orders. We've been testing some orders. So you'll see these here, history, account history, trading journal, it's all right here. And if you place a trade on the chart, check it out, it will show you your trade live on the chart. Let's exit out of these actually for now so that we can show you how we went about doing that. First of all, there is a sell button and a buy button at the top left of your chart and you can control these by right clicking, go into settings and there is a trading menu here. So if you see our mouse, we click trading and this is the menu where we can show or hide the trading tools available to us. Show, buy, sell buttons. Watch these two buttons when we hide them, they disappear, click them, they're back. And there are our other customizations here. Show your positions, show orders, you get the idea. So you can just click these buttons here to buy, red to sell, and your order panel, which by the way, if you're following our mouse, so there's a few ways we got this going. Remember, we connected our paper trading account by using the trading panel at the bottom. And then to place trades, we have our buy button here and our sell button here. And if we click, it opens up our order panel. You can also just click the order panel over here, watch our mouse, on the right side of the toolbar here, the right side toolbar, we click, and now we can place some orders. So for example, let's say on this chart of Apple, this is just for education or entertainment. Let's say we want to place a trade. Well, let's do a limit order. Let's put in limit order for when it hits $130 per share. At the moment, as you see, it's at 133. Let's buy 20 shares. Let's set a take profit and let's set a stop loss. Okay, our take profit, let's see if we can hit a home run. Let's go for $150 per share. That's where we wanna sell and take our profit. Our stop loss, $125 per share. So we've selected both these boxes. And when our order is ready, when we've set up everything that we want to set up, we click buy. And by the way, look at all the options available to you. This is why this is so important to us, okay? When you paper trade, you can test out ideas before risking any real money. Why take unnecessary risk? You know, why go through a process like this when you can actually plan your trades out, test out some ideas, and learn if it will actually work in the first place? That's why paper trading is so important and it's totally free and easy to use just by, if you remember, going to your trading panel and connecting to your paper trading account by TradingView. Okay, so here is all the options available to us. Market, limit, stop. We were doing a limit order, $130 per share. You have your units, so how many shares, 20. Your risk, your percentage risk. So we're also doing risk management here in our paper trading account. We have a take profit target, we have a stop loss, and we now are ready and we click buy. And as you can see, the buy orders, are instantly shown on our chart and it makes us feel like it's a real environment. It is of course just simulated. This is not real money, it's paper trading. And look, here's our account balance, our equity, and here's our buy limit. 
Remember, this is what's really cool about this, to plan out your trades and think through your process. We have our buy limit and our stop loss. And then, of course, here's our order history and some other history, account history, trading journal. And if we were to actually place a trade, let's actually buy some at market, which means just get us the best execution. We do 10. Let's not even set a profit or stop loss. Let's just hit buy. Positions. We can manage our positions from right here. It shows how much, how many we own, our average fill price, last price, and of course our profit. And you can watch this in real time. Are you up? Are you down? You can watch it right here. So 10 tools for creating a trading plan. Number one, we just went through it. Use free paper trading tools to test ideas. Get familiar with what you're trying to accomplish. See how it looks on a chart. Most importantly, experiment with the risk management tools available to you. See what it's like to set a real take profit target. See what it's like to place a stop loss. And then, of course, when you're ready, hit buy. And you can also just have some fun by uh, playing around with all of the options available to you because it's a paper trading account. It's a simulated environment. You can take some chances. You can experiment with what each of these fields means and then determine if that's the strategy you want to take, if that's the tool you want to use going forward. Okay, let's go to tip number two in our post, 10 tools for creating a trading plan. The long and short position tools. Let's talk about the long and short position tools. These tools are really fantastic. By the way, if you watch our, our uh, mouse here, we're going to show you how you can uh, quickly log out of your paper trading account. So there's a button here that says paper trading. And by the way, you can control some other things like your account username. There are some uh, options here, you know, show depth of market, order panel. And to log out, you click your, you know, the paper trading tab here and then click log out. And we're logged out. And here's our trading panel if we wanted to connect to a brokerage or log back in. Okay, step two, as we said, we just showed you how to use our free paper trading tools. Now, how about the long and short position tools? These are some really cool tools, by the way. Watch our mouse. Over here in the prediction and measurement tools, when we click this, we open up a menu. Long position, we'll favorite this for now. Short position, we'll favorite this for now. By the way, when we click favorite, if you notice, they create our own custom favorites toolbar that floats on the chart that we can move it wherever we want. So the long position, the short position tool, check it out. You ready? We're going to take the long position. And let's say we look at Apple here. Let's say that we want to place a trade in Apple. Well, when we select this tool and then click on the chart, what we can actually do is plan the trade before we make the trade. So the red, the green area is your profit zone. The red area is your loss or your stop target. So here's Apple. Let's say for this trade, we want to enter at, uh, let's see, we want to enter. Let's just say we want to enter at the lows. We can drag this entry here. Let's say we want to exit at $139 a share or so here. And let's say, you know, that's our take profit. And we, now we want to exit at a stop loss down here. We don't want to give ourselves much room. We're just going to say 2%, so 130. And just like that, we can visualize our trade. So before we make a trade, we can plan it out using the long and short position tools. How cool is that? We now see the trade. This is our trade right here. We can visualize it on the chart. And if we hover our mouse over it, we see our target, our risk, and of course our percentages. And we can right click on this as well and then go to settings and we can customize these tools. So our stop, stop color, watch this. Maybe we wanna make it even a deeper, darker red, right? We're so scared of the red that we want this to be very red. Our target, we want it to be bright green. Let's make us think of making some, making some great trades. So we change the color. We can change the text, the color and size, the lines. It is all here. There's compact stats mode if the numbers, of course, are showing you too much or too little. So you can compress the tool. See what we're doing here? There's also always show stats, which means no matter how you configure, move, or manage the tool, it will always show you these stats. So they won't actually hide. See how they're not hiding here? 
Well, if we go back to settings and uncheck this and click, they're, hit, they're hidden. So lots of customizations and you can play on the trade. And if you're doing a short trade, of course, just click the short position tool, click it on your chart, and now it flips. So our stop would be here. And let's just say we're looking for a big drop. So we're gonna drag this all the way down to here. And this is our trade. We can visualize it on the chart. These tools are so important. If you are a trader, plan it out. Go ahead and just see how it looks. Is this a trade you wanna take? Does it look realistic? Is this actually what you want to do? It gives you a chance to review it and see it very clearly and very obviously on the chart. Point number three, note taking is essential for working through your ideas. So we included this example. Look at this beautiful chart. It is here, risk management, market psychology. All these notes are here, they're saved, and we're going to show you how you can do that. So we're gonna go back to our Apple chart, and these are your annotation tools right here. See this, our mouse here is hovering over it. Annotation tools. When you open this menu, you have the ability to mark key levels on your chart, write text, leave notes, our new, our new tool called signpost, callouts, balloons, price labels, and of course, all of these arrow options. So if we wanna leave notes, we click text, and now we type, this is a note. I am working on a video for making trading plans, right? So here's our text. And we're just gonna leave this here. Now, really important, we have this note on our chart and let's say we leave this chart. So now we go to a new chart. Let's say we go to your USD, something totally different, Forex, okay? Now let's say we go back to Apple. Our note is saved. Super important. When you take notes on TradingView, they are always saved. Right there, right where you left them. Additionally, remember this drop down. click it, rename, new chart layout, load chart layout, make a copy, it's all right here. And if you click this button, watch the cloud, it's saving right now. It's now saved and when I log in to my account on TradingView, I can always load it and this note will appear. Okay, now point number four here. Looks like we accidentally made a mistake here on these numbers, but let's continue moving on. Find trades that fit your criteria and style rather than chasing news or big moves. What do we mean by that? What we mean by that is on your chart at the bottom, there is a stock screener button. So you can click open screener. And when you open the screener, you can screen for stocks that fit your style. So let's say you only like to trade stocks that are up a lot on a year to day basis. Well, we have performance selected. This means YTD performance, so we click. And now we see the highest performing companies of the year. And essentially what we're doing is rather than chasing stocks or chasing news, we're just looking for the biggest winners and going from there. And we can click and the chart instantly shows us the ticker that we wanna see. See this, instantly changes, instantly changes, instantly changes the screener tool. You can do all sorts of scans here, including valuation. So if you like value, if you're a fundamental person, you wanna look at the largest companies, well, click market cap. And now you're looking at the largest companies in the world. So don't chase moves, don't wait for them. Instead, create a process. The screener tool right here, we click it. Now we can actually scan and screen for things that fit our exact needs. We can do valuation, we can do performance, and if you click filters here, you can do all sorts of custom combinations, descriptive, and as you scroll down, you see all of the options available to you. If you want to find something, say, pre-market breakouts or things that have exploding volume, it's all right here. You can just move the sliders or enter the values you're interested in. Additionally, there are some custom scans that you'll find interesting here. See this volume leaders? You can click this drop down and have some fun. Go experiment with some custom built scans to get you started. And for example, you know, you can click unusual volume. Yes, that's fine. We'll save this. That's fine. And here's unusual volume. We're now looking at stocks with unusual volume today, a custom scan. Okay, let's continue moving down ways to 
perform and practice and plan your trading and investing. Read the education section to learn about new concepts and strategies. What do we mean by that? Okay, so we showed you earlier that this is our TradingView profile. Everyone who signs up for TradingView has a profile that they can customize and publish ideas to. And if you go to ideas here where our mouse is and click, there is an educational section here. And we click the educational section. And here you will find long form analysis, things that are meant to teach people ideas about markets and be thoughtful and evergreen so that you can learn something new whenever you come here. For example, here are some candlestick patterns. This one here, how to use session volume HD to study price and volume. And if you scroll down, you can read the entire report on what it means. And if you keep going, you can see some other updates from us. There are updates from other community members. Community members, sorry. There's calculating position size based on risk and stop loss from Drew. 15 types of financial market participants explained, which by the way is a very cool idea. Watch this, we click. And now we learn about investment banks, hedge funds, mutual funds. It's all right here. And when we scroll down, we can read this user's name is Michael Wang official. We can read their research and learn something new. So for planning and creating a trading or investing strategy, one thing that you just cannot go wrong with, and as we wrote in our post and the point of this video, you cannot go wrong with our point here about reading the education section to learn about new concepts and strategies always learning in markets. There are so many market participants involved. It just makes sense to keep learning and to keep pushing forward. We also included some examples, how to chart advanced calculations and the importance of backtesting. They are clickable and you can read about these ideas in this post. Moving on, publish your ideas to get instant feedback from everyone. So very unique time to be a trader or investor. Why is it a unique time? Well, if we go back to, let's say, let's go to Let's go to BTC USD. Let's say we're looking at this chart and let's say we notice something unique and we circle this area and we write some, we wanna write about why this is important. Why this 28,000 level is important. Well, at the top here, there is a publish button. And if we click publish, we can create an idea to publish from our profile. So here you're gonna write, this is a title or you could write why I think 28,000 is a key level. And then here you can write a description. And, it's, and this is where you want to provide a meaningful and detailed description of your chart. You want to walk us through your thought process. And the key here is put yourself in the trader's shoes so that when they read your post, they know exactly what you're talking about. You can also, you'll see here, uh, this is a test line. You also have the option to make things bold you also have the option to make things italic. And there are some other interesting options to you. You can include charts and symbols, and there are links, and of course you can create lists. Now, once you've given your post a title and a description, you click analysis. Are you long? Are you short, right? In this case, let's just say we're long. Category, so you want to define what it is. In this case, we're gonna go beyond technical analysis we're going to talk about some fundamental stuff, uh, so we'll check that. And then trend analysis, as you can see. Let's also talk about supply and demand. Those are the key core categories. We can give it some tags so that people always know where to find it or what it means. We made a mistake there, so we'll type in Bitcoin here. And then, of course, when we're ready, we publish the idea. Let's exit out. So that is a very important part of the process of creating a plan, you can publish your analysis to, to the world and they can read your post and provide instant feedback. And when your post is published, our mouse, this is where you get started, your post will be on your profile like this. See, we're on our trading view profile. We scroll down, 10 tools for creating a trading plan. Okay, let's continue to move on and we'll wrap up shortly. Save your charts and research so that you never lose your work. So important. There are two ways you can save your charts and research on TradingView. We showed you one earlier. Bar replay, as you can see, you click this drop down. 
You can rename it. So let's call this. This is a trading plan video. And we click save. Now it's saving trading plan video. When you load chart layout, you see them all here trading plan video. And we click the drop down again. There are some other interesting options. If we click this link, we can now, sorry, click this button. You can now share this chart. So just copy the link and share that link with anyone and they can open up the chart you're looking at. We're going to turn this back off because we don't want to share this link. We don't want anyone else seeing this chart. But if you do like to share your charts with friends or followers or anyone else who's interested in markets, check this box, copy the link, and then share it. You can also create new chart layouts from here as well. We're going to turn this back off. Auto save is on. Okay. Now, one more way that you can do this is there are indicator templates. So indicator templates, for example, we have some defaults here. Let's do, uh, uh, let's do um, MA, let's do the moving average ribbon. So we're going to click this and here's a ribbon. Moving average ribbon shows us all these moving averages. Now indicator templates, you can create your own custom templates, add your own indicators, and then watch how it follows us around. So PTC USD, Apple, uh, what else? Your USD. So these ribbons are just following us because this is our indicator template and we have it open. So if you want to create your own indicator templates, all you have to do is when you, you know, add your indicators. So let's, you know what, let's do an example actually. Okay, we're gonna exit out of here, get rid of all of these indicators, even volume. Okay, let's uh, unhide this. Let's hide this, sorry. Okay, here we go. We're gonna add some indicators. The first one we're gonna add is a visible range volume profile. We made a video about this the other day. Please go watch it. We're also going to go to the public library and we're going to add heat map. And let's do the volume heat map. So we add that. And now we have these two indicators. We have a volume profile and a volume heat map added to our chart. And now we go up to our indicator templates and we save indicator template. We're going to give it a name. It's called volume template custom. And we can remember the symbol. So every time we open this template, the same symbol comes up or remember the interval. So same interval comes up. We don't no, We're not going to do that for now. We click save. And so now, if we move assets, let's go back to Apple. This template follows us around wherever we go. Pretty dang cool. As you can see, we're even going across different asset classes and it's still remaining the same. Go back to Apple here. And so indicator templates are another way you can save your layouts so that you never lose them. So remember that, save your charts, never lose them. There's this drop down here where you can rename, new chart layout, load chart layout. And then of course there is your indicator templates as well. Click this and you can get started. Try some custom templates, create your own and save it. Okay, now we are wrapping up here. Let's do take your charts, watch list and research with you with our free mobile app. The TradingMe mobile app is free to use and it is on the iOS and Android app stores. Download it, log into your account, and do you see the chart we're looking at now? This same chart will open up seamlessly on our mobile app. So you can take your charts from desktop to mobile phone. Anywhere you have an internet connection, you can access your charts and your watch list. Okay, next up, use the calendar tools to keep track of upcoming events. So when we're on our chart, there is this, see our mouse here, right here, hovering over the calendar button. There is a calendar button. We click this button and here is all the economic data. So the point of this is you never want to get caught off guard. You can see all of the economic data coming in around the world. As you see, this is Turkey, this is the US, and as we scroll down, here's Japan, and you can start to follow, here's the UK. And as we scroll down, you see global economic data. Never get caught off guard. One more time, here's our mouse, watch it. We hover over this calendar, click. We have a global economic calendar. What's really cool is you can customize it. So this world filter, click. Now we can filter. Let's say we only want G20 events, or we only want Asia Pacific events.
but we want it to include China and Indonesia and the Philippines. Well, we've just selected them and now we have them in our filter and now we're only looking at that part of the world. So it's really, really important to do that to make sure that you're selecting the countries you want and you can also, as you keep going over, it's for example, just do the Americas and now we're just doing US, Canada, Mexico and that's, or sorry, you can make sure that they're selected that way. If you want to unselect, you just click a country to unselect them. So as you can see, we're unselecting all of these countries and we just keep clicking to unselect, unselect. And now we have the US and the European Union. And as you can see, our calendar is now just the US and the European Union, that's it. So we can create our own custom calendar. By the way, one more important thing we want to show you about this is earnings calendar. If you trade stocks, you always want to know what companies report earnings, so check it out. There is an earnings calendar right here at the bottom. It also shows you an earnings estimate and our mouse hovers over it and when we click how cool is this as we click through the earnings calendar the chart automatically updates so we can see each chart come to life that's about to report earnings okay one more quick quick tip about this we're going to go back to apple we're going to delete this note from earlier when we right click on the chart and go to settings there is a tab that says events so we click events and now what we can do from here is show dividends on the chart, show splits, show earnings, show earnings breaks. So there's actually this line here. And we could even do show economic events on the chart. So check it out. Here is a chart of Apple. And now what we have here, if you look, is we have earnings, dividends, splits, all shown on the chart. And when we hover our mouse over earnings, for example, Look at that, we see what the earnings report was. And look at this, we can see how it traded on that exact day. So we'll take out just our pen here and just circle it, our brush, sorry, and there you have it. And of course, if you go to a Forex pair, for example, if you remember we selected economic events, well, how cool is this? On a Forex pair, you can now see the economic events right there on the chart, and when you click it, you get all of this data presented to you. So we can see this stuff and how it may have impacted this Forex pair. Okay, wrapping up. How do you plan your trades or investments? That's our final question for you. We are going to exit out all of this. We are going to go back just to a normal chart here and we just want to ask you this question. How do you plan your trades or investments? Leave them in the comments below. The point is, it's now been a great time. It's now an easy time to meet others and chat with others online. And for example, in this post, so we published this from our TradingView profile, 41 comments. We go to the comment section and people are already responding to us with some support, suggestions, and other ideas right in the comments. And on this video, please do the same. If you have a way of creating a trading plan, please write it in the comments. We hope that this video helped. At least one of these tools should be of use to you, whether it is the long and short position tool, or whether it is opening up the trading panel and getting started with paper trading, or if it's just leaving some notes on your chart and then saving that chart, it could be anything. But the key is to make better decisions. We have the tools to do it. We just have to learn how to use them and take advantage of them. Thanks for watching and don't forget, leave a question or comment in the comments or even better, share with us how you use TradingView to plan your investments or trades. Let's create a great thread together. Thanks for watching.